Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the Saturday Shave. Um, today it's not Saturday, is it? It's Wednesday. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Right. Welcome back to the Wednesday Shave. Today, the sun's out. We're going to have a... It reminds me of Spain when the sun's out. It's always sunshine in Spain, isn't it? So we're going to have a Spanish-themed shave. And what we're going to be using is we're going to... Yeah, I'll get the box here. We're going to be using this. Classic Spanish razor, Wilkinson Espada. Hey, huh? Espada. Spanish word for something. Any, yeah, anyway, Wilkinson Espada. There it is there. It's the new Wilkinson. I think it's the um, the modern day version of this one, isn't it? Uh, that one. It's a, uh, I think it's really nice. Can you see the Wilkinson sword branding on that? I don't know if you can. I think it's really nice. Just to open. Uh, and I bought a 1953 Gillette uh, months and months and months ago from a guy in America. Got a deal on it. And when he sent it to me, when he came, it had those in it. Wilkinson sword, stainless steel. But I can't see them with that packaging anywhere. They, they, I don't know. I don't know if they're, if they're old or vintage. And there's a the packaging. Look, and yeah. And you open that. So they got the, the Wilkinson sword there. Turn it around there, well, made in England. So, hey, I couldn't find a Spanish blade, guys. But we'll load that into the Wilkinson Espada. And we'll put that in some water. We're going to be using. Cremo, Spanish horsehair brush. Woohoo! We'll uh, stick that in some water. Get that soaking. I'm going to be using Lee shave cream. Is it Lee? Is it Leo? You see the tin? Absolutely beautiful. I mean, just a pure, soapy, fresh, clean scent. Um, I'll finish off with some aftershave balm. Is it Lee? Is it Leah? How do you pronounce it? Well, there's no accent marks over any of the vowels to say that they carry their own sound. So for me, that would say Lee. And, uh, oh man, a tail to tell, always a tail to tell. Finish off with some Floyd. Look at the colour on that. Uh, I'll tell you a tale about that later on. Or if I run out of something to say earlier on in the video. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's wet the face. How's everybody doing? Had a good night's sleep last night. Uh, I went to bed really early out of sheer boredom. Not flash boredom, sheer boredom. So here we go. It's not really, yet because that's her looks are really, really soft. So let's, uh, let's get some, that'll do. We'll see, see it's shedding already that brush. It's across your bare for animal hair, isn't it? See? I'm a poet, they didn't know it. It's not only Jimmy, NYC wet shave, I can do the poetry. Anyway, a bit more water, so shout out to all my friends all over the world. My aunt, my, my uh, American brethren, what? Huh? Iced coffee, although it's warm because I ran out of ice. Mm. So there you go. And a shout out to all the people that don't live in these in America, you know. I've got friends from weird and wonderful countries all over the world. I mean, strange countries like Wales and Scotland and so. Anyway, let's crack on. We'll see where we go with our. Oh man! Oh, you can smell that. The. Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh man, you can smell that. Now this brush, when I got it, it, it stunk awful. It really did. But, I washed, I mean, it's the worst smelling brush I've ever had. Washed it in human shampoo a couple of times, so I went away. And for anyone that's wondering, these are like vegan 
ethically sourced, they're taken from the animal, no animals are killed for their hair. It occurs, they get the hair during the natural grooming process of the animal. Hmm, look at this, a bit more, a bit more water on the tips of those bristles. Good lather that, good lather. So, how's everybody doing? How's all the shaves of the day? Oh man. Okay, here we go. First pass <laughs> with the Wilkinson head spadder. Uh, so. Okay, mild razor. Oh been good to see everybody, been watching the videos. Oh and what's a guy? MC I'm so sorry, goldfish memory. MC Shaves, as he called, did a really good video yesterday, and David sent it to me. And he said, Dad, check this out. And the guy just did a shout out for everybody in the wet shaving world. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know how I've mentioned it, but. Tim Shaves. Enjoying his videos. Enjoying all the videos. Enjoyed Kebby's live. I couldn't stay long. We logged in and immediately. Um, we had something to take care of, I can't remember it, but it, it, we had to log out for... Sort something out, so I didn't catch much of it, but I watched it again. Really good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good first pass that. It's a mild razor. So... My wife and daughter have gone out to get some provisions. I've not been out for about five weeks, guys. And the backstory behind that is, I won't go into too much detail because I don't know how much David wants me to, to say, but me and DC Shares, we used to work together for a large pharmaceutical company. And uh, he'd had a week off, so I had to pick him up for the Saturday morning shift. And I went and picked him up. Anyway, whenever we were always the first there, we started at seven, everybody else rolled in five past ten past seven, but we all we, we were always there for, for like ten past quarter past six so that we could get our stuff done uh, and then get away, you see, because the early you got paid you got paid until you finished. So we would rather get and get finished early and then we could spend Saturdays with our families, you know. But anyway. What happened is, so we dropped there, the place is all shutting up, but they've got one of these security doors, you know, you tap the four numbers in and it opens and you can go in. So I said to David, you go in, I'll park the van. So he jumps out and runs to the door and I'm, I'm parking the van. What I didn't see was that two masked robbers about the size of the rock with ski masks and butcher's knives waited till David tapped the four digits in and they followed him in and beat the living daylights out of him and then one of them held the butcher's knife to his throat while the other one went down and locked the supervisor in his office so then I parked the van because the whole time I'm letting the car park 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 in the van. So I go in after him. David's on the floor. The one that had been down to the office then lunged at me. They thought I was a manager. 
wanted me to open the safe where where the good drugs were kept you know anyway I couldn't open it they had inside information they got what they couldn't and they did one but both mine and David's health took a bit of a downturn after that I know David struggled to sleep. No, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go into to details. Um, but eventually, it cost us both our jobs, though. Uh, within a couple of weeks, with we, we both. Um, well, David David left for reasons. It's up to him to tell you. But I, I, I had to go on the sick. I developed, shortly after that, an infection. And I had to go on the sick. And basically, my lungs were filling up with Gorilla Glue. Imagine Gorilla Glue. My lungs, the lung infection led to my lungs filling up with this and it lasted for about four weeks, guys. And uh, I ended up coughing up stuff out of my lungs. and It was horrible. Uh, it was touch and go for a while. And that's why, I mean, I ended up at the hospital three times. Uh, three sets of antibiotics. The first one didn't work. The second one, uh, my body built a resistance, and the third one worked. And I started to make progress. Uh, and whilst I was on sick, I managed to get another job. The job I've got now, which I absolutely love, you know. Um, but the damage to my lungs is going to take a long time to repair. That's why when this coronavirus started. I panic guys, I've not been out for five weeks because I mean if it comes now, if I got it now or I got it next week, or I got it with you know, I'm I'm five weeks more repaired. My lungs are five weeks more repaired every week that passes. I mean personally I've had symptoms as if I've had it and I think I've had it. I think I've had a very, very mild dose of it, I really do. But I just don't know. And I'm not willing to take the chance that I'm wrong. I catch it. It goes straight for my lungs because if I got it bad, guys, I really do believe there'd be no more John Shares. So, oh, anyway, I started off the day so cheerful, but that's no, that's where I'm at. That's why I'm going stir crazy in here. Uh, why I'm not, I haven't left the house in five weeks, and I went back to work. Uh, but they put they put really stringent social distancing measures in place. But obviously, work. When I told them I've had symptoms, work panicked, sent me home. But maybe it was a blessing, you know. All I know is that with every week that passes, it's a bonus. It's a week longer that my lungs have to try and, and repair themselves from that. I mean, it was only six months ago. But anyway. Happy hump day. I thought it was Saturday. But if not, it's hump day. I don't know if you say that in the US, do you? Happy hump day. Well, if you view the week as a hill, we're at the top of the hump. After today, it's woohoo! All downhill to the weekend. And then guess what I've got planned for the weekend, guys? Exactly the same as I'm doing today. <laughs> oh man. So. There's so much. I wanted to say. But my mind goes off on a tangent, you know. No. But anyway, yeah. Just a little bit of a history. As to why I'm where I'm at really. Anyway, that's another one done guys. Oh, well, fantastic, you know. You cannot have a shave and not feel better, can you? You can't. You can't. Well, this style of shaving, anyway. This style of shaving. That's just my personal opinion. Right, what are we doing? Floyd Mayweather Jr. Right, story behind this. I bought some off the internet. It came... It, it was it, it was pale it was I can't it, it was like a really weak weak tea much much lighter than this 
Um, it didn't smell the great. It, it smelled nice, but I'm like, anyway, give it to David. Don't tell him. But then went to Spain a couple of years ago and bought this. Oh, love, much darker. Smells much nicer, much, much nicer, much better scent. Here we go. Oh, oh man. Oh, yes. That's fantastic. Just an old fashioned barbershop, you know, it's got a leathery. To me, it's got like a, mm, like a leathery scent to it. And then we'll finish off with this Leah Balm. looks like that okay so big thanks to all the guys all the viewers all the subscribers oh that smells fantastic you know that really compliments that aftershave it really does yeah all the shavers you know the usual guys NYC wet shaves IMCDB uh, put that in there yeah uh, all of them, all the usuals. Mine's gone blank. <laughs> love watching the videos. Thanks for all the content. And all the comments. I love it. I love getting all the comments on my videos. So everybody, please click like and subscribe if you like this video. We're all trying to grow our channels, aren't we? Go subscribe to MC Shaves. I think he's called MC, yeah. Uh, um, and Tim Shaves. Check out his channel. He's alright. He's a nice lad. Okay, so click like and subscribe. Oh, trying to grow the channel, trying to grow the community and have a really nice day everybody. It's going to be a good one. The sun is shining, there's positive vibes, coronavirus, give it that. We're going to beat this guys. Stay safe everybody. Love and good vibes to everybody and have a nice rest of the day. Bye.